design duo Basso & Brooke first came into the spotlight in 2004 when they won the Fashion Fringe Awards. Four years on, they're growing from strength to strength and Marie Claire TV have been given an exclusive behind the scenes look here at their house, which not only is their design studio, but also where they live. Let's go inside and have a look. Christopher, Bruno, thank you so much for inviting us to your house, which is also your studio here. I've got so many questions to ask you. So let's start from the very beginning. And first of all, just want to know how you two first met. Uh, we met at a nightclub. Yeah. yeah. About six years from, ago. Um, yeah. Bruno, Bruno just arrived in London from Brazil. And I need you to translate her. <laughs> and that was me. So when did you first kind of know that there was some kind of design fusion between the two of you and how did you first kind of get to designing? I was, I always was interested to create something new and to explore new possibilities within technology and then I think that Chris had the same ethos at the time. Well we heard and you learned about the digital printing and we said oh why not try to print, to print something digitally. Before that we didn't even look to doing a fashion collection. Yes. It was just to a do a, a collaboration of two creative people and we were doing prints and then the fashion fringe thing came about um, which gave us the opportuni opportunity to do a, a collection. So. so muse wise if you had a celebrity that you would love to wear your clothes or you think that someone that typifies your brand who would that be? I think that this season would be Iris Apfel. Iris Apfel is an is American socialite. She's an she's a old lady, incredible stylish, and uh, she has been fulfilling very, our idea of styling this season. I mean, in terms of like young celebrity, I think we like to dress people that are slightly, you know, a bit edgy, maybe. I mean, Tori Amos wears our things, and, you know, like Kirsten Dunst, and someone like a, you know, a young Hollywood. Girl, but not your regular run-of-the-mill. Now on the table here we've got this lovely brand box and inside you guys have just shown me a candle that you're actually going to be bringing out at London Fashion Week. Yes. We've developed this in eight weeks so from concept to product to final product it's taken eight weeks which has been incredible for us to do this. We wanted it to be addictive that you wanted to keep smelling it you know something that's that's not just like a nice smell but a really strong smell. So. The, the final effect is almost a tutti frutti uh, and it's very positive, it's happy, um, it's clean and it's vibrant. I think that matches our, our style. So the design process itself, how does it actually start? I mean, do you start by drawing first or is it the fabrics first or...? Um, well, because me and Bruno work, I mean, we work together, but we work at the very beginning, we work quite separate in our research. Then we see how each other is getting on and then we sort of try and Put it together. Before I get to this stage, I probably have to do you know 500 drawings. To get to this is probably about 10 of that coat before I actually choose that one. It gets narrowed down, narrowed down as it goes on. I've been looking at sort of these sort of cocoon shapes, which is made up of strips. Um, this kind of localized volume and you know just weird sort of dartings. So then, while Chris has been doing the designing, you've been working on the prints. Um, and the fabric kind of finishes. So can you talk us through what we've got here in front of us? This is, a, because we've been inspired by architecture, we thought that we should explore iconic buildings. So we went to Canary Wharf and the Gherking and, well, loads of places. And then we took pictures and started to manipulate them digitally and then the results are there. This is the reflection of the Gherking in other buildings. You saw the other building is a mirror and then we took the picture of this mirror. But those images are in your mind because you, you know those places, you walk it through town. So uh, we're trying to bring this as well, the sensation of I've been there. Guys, it's been an absolute pleasure talking to you today and I wish you all the luck next week and I can't wait to see the show.